Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, <laughs> August 29th. Today is Devin's birthday. It's his golden birthday, technically, because it's the 29th and he, he's turning 29. <laughs> but uh, he's at work. He has to work today. Jesse told him yesterday they should give you off for your birthday. <laughs> but um, it's later, me and Jesse's going to make him a cake. I found a chocolate one. I think it's called. Um, fudgy chocolate cake or something like that um he really loves german chocolate but it has coconut in it which i'm allergic to and jesse doesn't like so for the sake of the cake getting eaten and not being wasted i wanted uh to make just like a regular cake so i'm gonna make that here in a little bit oh, baby's waking up and i got laundry going and i'm crocheting on some amber today but i'm gonna go grab the baby okay we got the cake sorry about my hand <laughs> We got the cake in the oven, and this is the first time I've ever made a cake where it required putting boiling water into the batter. And it made the batter very, not battery, but like the kind of batter you would cook chicken in, you know? Like liquidy, but battery. Does that make sense? I don't know. But anyways, I'm hoping it comes out good. I'm assuming it's going to make it like a smushy, um, moist cake. I didn't get to take any cute clips like I used to do when it was just me and Jesse and the time he crushed that egg and it exploded. Because it's a lot harder now with two kids. <laughs> Jesse was helping me make the cake batter and June was tearing up the kitchen. But um, anyways, I gave her a little thing and she was over there playing at the sink the whole time. But I had to keep you know an eye on her obviously. So I, I couldn't set up and record cute clips like I used to do. I might I might be able to around Christmas time because June will be almost two years old by then. And maybe she'll listen better. Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> but uh, for sure next year, you know, she'll be three and a half towards the end of the year when we're doing all the bakings but anyways it's in the oven it's got about 14 more minutes till i have to check it to see if it's firm <laughs> uh, jesse's in the bedroom chilling and playing and uh once that gets done i'm gonna bring him in there let him see the cake you know that we made and then it's got to cool forever and then we're gonna make that frosting so i got all this stuff out to make frosting except the butter and milk is still in the refrigerator but we'll make the frosting and then once it's all done we'll show it to you hopefully I hope that it is all done before Devin gets home. It should be. And then tonight for dinner, I'm making tacos. And then after Devin gets home from work and he eats, we're going to go to Academy so he can get his a tackle box. <laughs> he already picked out the one he wants. I just haven't had a chance to go get it because I'm always either with him or with the kids. What is that noise? Okay. Um, because his tackle box fell off the truck one day. I don't know if I ever mentioned that to y'all, but he went fishing one morning, early in the morning, and he accidentally forgot to shut the tailgate after getting a case of waters off the back of the truck. Um, and he lost his tackle box. And it was so sad. I felt so bad for him because he, you know, a man's tackle box is like, if like if I lost my big, it's like a tackle box. <laughs> it's actually a caboodle <laughs> full of crochet stuff, accessories. I would be so sad and probably cry. And he said he about cried because, you know, he had put all this time and effort into put, picking out all the lures and stuff that he likes. And a lot of it was Christmas presents over the years for me and the kids <laughs> and um, birthday presents and stuff that he lost. And um, nobody, of course, nobody turned it in. Uh, we watched this, the local pages, you know, to see if anyone found it. But, you know, I told him no one's going to turn that in, probably, because, you know, some man probably found it and just kept it. But, uh, anyway, so we're buying him a bigger one that, like, folds out more. Because <laughs> he had just, like, a little regular one. And then we got to start helping him accumulate all his hooks and things back. And I hate that he lost the sentimental ones, but that's life, you know. Sometimes it happens. So, anyways, he's getting that today. And, uh, the cake. That was Man, that's loud! Jean's banging on everything. But yeah, so I'm going to wait for this cake to get done. I got a little laundry I do. I need to get in there and clean the bathroom. And I got stuff I want to crochet on. And then I might squeeze in some sewing later if I get a chance. Uh, I don't know if I'll get to sew any today, but I'm going to try. Uh, but yeah, you want to say hello? You're naked, so I can want to show your head. Move your head up. Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll poke back in later and show you the cake when it gets done. Hopefully, if we don't mess it up. I'm a little worried about putting that bowl of water in there, but we'll see. I can't remember if I recorded an introduction for this video. I don't know. If I didn't, today is... What is that? Today's Tuesday. Yeah, I did, because I, I did the same thing earlier. Anyways, I just got done filming my videos come out tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> Sneak peek. Um, it's the last 
collaboration video with Michelle from Pixie Moon Creates. Uh, the National Holiday Crochet videos we've been putting out. It's the last one of those. Um, and it was so fun. <laughs> I literally just finished my little ambigrammy for it a couple hours ago. It's late in the night. It's even, it's like after 9 or 10. <laughs> so it may be really late when this video gets up or maybe tomorrow. Um, and she had messaged me like an hour before I finished mine and said that she just finished hers. So we both kind of run late on this one, but we both got it done. So that's all that matters. Anyways, made his cake. It turned out good. Jesse helped me make the cake and helped me frost it. I did take a clip of him, but he wasn't wearing a shirt. So the only way I will put that clip in is if I can edit out his nakedness. <laughs> um, so there might be a big block of black over him, <laughs> but you can still see his hand moving. But, and also if I do put that clip in, just ignore how messy my kitchen counter is right there. That's like when I, cause I was cooking and we have hardly no counters anyways. I just kind of shoved everything <laughs> in that one spot and, um, there's a lot of stuff there, but anyways, it doesn't matter. No one cares. Um, yeah, so Devin had a piece of cake. I haven't had any cause I ended up eating, um, some Chex Mix as a snack later in the day and, uh, I wasn't hungry. But I'll try a piece tomorrow. He said it was really good, though. And Jesse probably forgot about it being in there. Or he would have wanted some because he loves cake. But yeah, so... We went after he got home from work and we ate dinner. We had my made tacos today. Um, we went to Academy so he could get his tackle box. And he got it. So he's got his tackle box now. So now he could start slowly purchasing back everything that he lost. Uh, I still feel so bad. I wish I had a lot of money and I could just go and buy all that stuff back for him. <laughs> But, um, you know, it was years worth of tackle. So it was, it's actually, it was a lot of money worth of tackle that he lost. But, uh, oh well. And his, like, knife and everything was in there. So it's just, it sucks. But anyways, it's life. It happens. So, yeah. So he, uh, we came home. I cleaned up the rest of the kitchen. Because, like, I had, I was cleaning that while I cooked the cake and the tacos. <laughs> um, and then I had to, you know, re-clean it. So, the dishwasher was clean, and I'm not going to deal with it tonight. I'll deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> and I got to do laundry tomorrow. And there's a little laundry in the dryer, but it's dry. So it can just stay there until tomorrow. <laughs> and we didn't, we never did get to do school today because there was just a lot of drama with the baby. <laughs> so we're going to be, do, you know, picking back up tomorrow with doing school. That's one good thing that's, um, I like about homeschool is, like, on days that are crazy, it's okay if we miss because we can just pick it back up <laughs> the next day. And last year, we did a lot of weekend school days, too. When we had to miss one, we just did it on Saturday because, you know, it didn't matter. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So, we got some plans this weekend. It's a three-day weekend, and Devin's actually got two three-day weekends because he took off the 8th because that's the day of the homeschool field trip. So, he'll be off the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th for Labor Day. And then he'll be off the 8th, not the 10th for just that weekend. So, this weekend... Uh, we did have family dinner, but we moved it. It'll probably be next weekend. But Sunday, Jesse's going to go to the fair with my sister and her son. Because I didn't, we were all going to go together, but I really don't want to take the baby. Because I feel like it would just make it not as fun for the boys if she's there. Because she kind of, you know, she's too little to do anything. She's too little to be put down because, you know, she'll run around and run off. So it would just be a hassle, you know. They'd have to deal with us, deal with her. And I, I don't want to put that on them, you know, let them have fun. So she's just going to take the boys. Um, and then, I don't, I don't think we have any plans on Monday. <laughs> it's weird, you know, to have a Monday that's elf. Uh, and then this coming Friday, not this coming Friday, but the one after that. Not the first, but the eighth is the school field trip. And, yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyways, uh... I guess I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I've took some clips and stuff. I'll put them in. And I will see you guys in the video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mini circles. <gasps> Good job. Oval. 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 No, don't go there. No, no, no. Don't go there. Try the green one. <gasps> Good job. Not the prettiest cake, but that frosting tastes really good. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> <laughs>